Interesting. Um, I thought radium in watches was uh, ended had ended in the sixties. Um, I believe this LaSalle watch, which is made by West Clocks, was made about 61, 62. And I found out something interesting. I ordered it off of eBay. It was uh, not working. I think I paid God, like $5 for it or something like that. It was something just uh, somebody was giving away in a lot or selling in a lot. So uh, ironically, though, uh, when you put the Geiger counter over, it is showing radium. Because tritium, by this time, wouldn't be uh, producing these kind of numbers. Tritium would actually be dead. I have some tritium face watches that don't even show anything more than background radiation. So this is one of the other interesting aspects of the watch collecting is uh, radioactivity. There's a uh, there was a uh, documentary that I I watched uh, called um, Radium City. And it's uh, pretty interesting. It's pretty actually, uh, it's, it's pretty high. This is a uh, Soak Skyger counter. You can pick these up anywhere for uh, on Amazon or eBay for, um, eh, I think, about $110, $120. This is an old, older model, but they have a newer version of it. It's... Uh, the company Soaks is based in Ukraine. Actually, ship pretty quick. Yeah, that's uh, pretty crazy. It's amazing that these can go through the post office and not be uh, detected. But uh, I, I'm not sure what kind of scanning equipment they have. Pretty neat. And then it'll go back to normal background. Which is about uh, 13 microsieverts. Yeah, it'll drop pretty fast. And it's 7 to 13. Sorry, my stomach. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let me give you a look at the uh, watch. This is a regular LaSalle made by West Clocks. Automatic. And to think people were wearing these on a daily basis. I'm not sure what to what degree <clears throat> the uh, the radioactivity penetrates with radium. I know the uh, girls who did the painting on the dials back uh, back then. They used to uh, put a fine tip on the brush with their mouth. Of course, that's how they ingested the radium paint. And they started getting jaw and bone cancer. All kinds of other cancers. And I think radium has a half-life around 1,500, 1,600 years. It's quite a lot longer than tritium is 12 years, 12 and a half years. Yeah, pretty interesting. Just another aspect of uh, watch collecting. Thanks.